Um, we continue here with the four operations. This time we'll talk about negative numbers. The four operations are plus, minus, times and divide. I won't be saying very much about divide. I'll focus on plus, minus and times. I'll start with negative numbers. If I have, let's say, minus 1 times 2, then minus 1 times 2 is equal to minus 2. Now what if I have minus 1 times minus 2? Right. Now first of all, it is not good to write an operation symbol right next to another one without any number in between because that can be a little confusing. So what we should do is that if that's supposed to be negative 2, that number, it's better practice to put a bracket around it. So I have minus 1 times minus 2. The two numbers multiplied together. So what do I do with this? Well, the idea is that if I have two minus sign multiplied together, they cancel out each other. We get a plus. So we do the 1 times 2, and then the minus sign cancel each other, and we just get a 2, or a plus 2. So plus 2 is the same as a 2. So minus minus become plus. Alright, and we can also have 1 times minus 2. In this case, it's just 1 minus sign. So that's a minus 2. So this is how we deal with negative numbers. Right, next, have a look at what happens if we have negative numbers and brackets. Let's start with something um, simpler first. Suppose that I have 2 plus, and then I have a bracket there, 3 plus Four. Say I want to do this sum. So what I need to do here, I can, I can just um, do the bracket first. Three plus four. That gives me two plus seven, which is nine. Right now, what? We also need to know is how to remove the brackets. Now in an earlier clip, I've explained how to remove the brackets when you have the bracket multiplied by a number outside. Now in this case, I don't actually have a number outside. So what do I do? Can I somehow remove the bracket and, and still get the correct answer? Yes, we can. If there's no number outside, if it's just a plus sign, you can think of it as if there is a number 1 outside, as if there's a 1 there, so it's just 1 times the bracket. So not having any number is like having the number 1 in front of the bracket, because 1 times anything is the same answer. So what we can have is, is that we can have this 2 plus bracket 3 plus 4 
is really the same as 2 plus 3 plus 4. Meaning that I can just remove the bracket now because if I have a 1, if I have a 1 outside the bracket that is multiplied by the bracket, then I do 1 times each of the number inside. So 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 4 is 4, and then I can remove the bracket. Now if you add this up, you find that you'll get the same answer. 2 plus 3 plus 4 is also 9. So that's simple enough. The tricky bit comes when I have a minus sign in front of the bracket. What if I have 2 minus bracket of 3 plus 4? Now if I follow the rule that I should do the sum in the bracket first, it's quite uh, easy. I must do the 3 plus 4, 7 first. So 2 minus 7, and then I do 2 minus 7, that's minus 5. Now, but what if I want to remove the brackets first? Now you might wonder why bother. I mean, why can't I just add the 3 and 4 since it's quite easy? But the reason why we need to learn this is because sometimes it's actually easier to do the whole sum if you remove the bracket. Sometimes in when we're doing uh, sums like that, and also sometimes when we're doing algebra, where we also have sums that look very similar to this. So the question now is, can I remove the bracket? Yes, we can, but we have to follow some rules. Now the idea is this, if I have a minus sign in front of the bracket, like before, I can think of the bracket as bracket times 1. So let me write that down. So minus sign that. Think of the bracket as a number, and think of it as multiplied by 1. No difference, because if it times 1, that number times 1 is the same. But once I write it this way, you see that I have actually a minus 1 outside the bracket. I have a minus 1 times bracket 3 plus 1. So what must I do if I want to remove the bracket? Right, remember, when you remove the bracket, you must take the number outside and multiply by each number in the bracket. Okay, so that's a 2. Let me write that down first. So I must take minus 1 times the 3. Get minus 3. And I must take minus 1 times the 4. Get a minus 4. So this is what I get when I remove the bracket. Now let's... That's the step I've used, actually. I've inserted a put in a 1 there to show you what happens. But let's now go back to the, to the sum at the start and see if we can go straight from there to there. Now, to go from there to there, you see that when I remove the bracket, both becomes minus. So that's the way to do it. I must add a minus sign in front of each number inside. And once you realize that, it's quite easy. You can just skip this step, and then you can find the answer. So 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 4, and minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. That's it. We'll stop here.